In this short video, I'm going to take a look at the conflict of worm and how you can detect it on your network. So the conflict of worm, so how can it spread? Well, I want to start here in this diagram on the top left-hand corner. So any shared computers, any computers, Windows hosts plugged into the network with weak passwords may get infected by the worm. Removable devices such as external hard drives and USB sticks may also get infected. What happens here is a machine with the conflict of worm, if a USB device plugs in, it will infect that so that if that's transferred to another system, it introduces the risk of the worm spreading. Computers with open shares may get infected by the worm. And also, just to look at the bottom uh, center here, um, it says computers with the latest security updates may get infected by the worm. So if you've got open shares on your PC, and even with the current updates, you still may get infected. Now over here towards the bottom right, so the conflict of worm attempts to make numerous connections to computers across the network. So it'll seek out systems with, that do not have the latest security updates and they do not have or have open shares or maybe removable media or weak passwords. So we take a look at the PC here in the top right. So computers with a proper password policy, current security updates, antivirus or security software and secured shares are protected. So there is quite a, a few things that need to happen before a computer is not vulnerable. So how can the LAN Guardian detect conflict of worm? Well, if a machine, whether it be maybe a laptop or somebody uh, brings in a USB stick and a PC gets infected on your network, and our network here is spread over two floors with a server room down at the bottom and a connection to the internet. So once this worm comes into the network, first thing it'll do is it'll start scanning the network, attempting to infect other machines, and it will look for weak passwords and open shares. The open shares is an interesting one because users may be sharing folders on their PCs um, without you knowing about it. Now the LangGuardian file name module is able to detect that information and if you check out on our YouTube channel, we have a video of how to use the file share option. So not only does it try and propagate via window shares, it also attempts to phone home. So it contacts known websites and it'll try and update itself. And the danger as well is it may create a tunnel into your network. So what do you need to look out for on the LAN Guardian? Well, there's two specific security events. The first one is specific threat. So it's a lookup for a site associated with Conflicker. So this is where the infected machine is attempting to, as we call phone home. So it's trying to access sites known to be associated with Conflicker. So we need to look for this in the security reports. The second one is the NetBIOS SMB DS. So that's the directory services repeated logon failure. So this is where the worm is attempting to spread around the network via Windows shares, attempting to crack weak passwords. So we can detect that activity or the LAN Guardian can detect that activity. So you need to look out for the NetBIOS uh, repeated logon failure, especially where one machine is attempting to access lots of others. So let's take a look at the LAN Guardian now and how you can update your security dashboard so that you can focus on the conflict of worm. Okay, the first thing we need to do to set up our conflict of reporting is we need to log on to the LAN Guardian. So what I'm gonna do is firstly, I'm gonna update my security and internet dashboard. If you don't have a security dashboard, it's just a matter of hitting the add button here and creating a new dashboard. So I already have one, so I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to go to the edit option. Now I need to click on reports. I'm going to scroll down here. It, what you need to do is the little blue icon here is your own custom reports. You need to scroll down past the blue icons where you come to the security reports here which are designated with the little triangle with the exclamation mark. So the top two reports here are Vicar, Vince, Conflict of Worm, Brute Force Logons. So I'm going to add that here to the security dashboard. We're also going to add the DNS activity. So that's the lookups where a machine infected is trying to access sites known to be associated with Conflicker. I've added the two dashboards. So what I need to do now is double click on them. I'm going to click on the alert option here. I'm also going to look at the last 24 hours. Okay, that. Double click on the second one. Click on the alert and last 24 hours as well. We okay that and we save that. 
Now, any conflict of worm on your network will be will takes a couple of minutes for this to update, but any conflict of activity will be showing here. The other thing to check as well on your system is go to Instant Reports, Security Instance, and actually run the reports manually as well. So what you might need to do here is click on the Filters option, click on the calendar. You might want to select maybe a day or two, so just to check for a couple of days activity. I'm going to check for the last 24 hours, and I don't have any machines in my network attempting to uh, brute force other systems so that's looking for weak passwords let's go back I'm also going to check for any suspicious DNS activity so we don't have any activity there, activity there either so it looks like my network here is clean I don't have any conflicker um, worms uh, trying to spread on my network so there are the two simple things you can do to um, check for clicker activity and on your security dashboard it's now updated we've got green here we've got no um, no records so we've no conflict worm if there was an instance these um, these elements here will go red and give you the information you need to start investigating okay well thanks for tuning into this video uh, please take some time out to uh, have a look at our other videos on YouTube